Man, this town sure looks different. No kidding. Look at all these new houses. No, not that. The town is different. Almost, almost seems like it's dead. I don't know. My uh, my old marine buddy Valgar Vernstein lives pretty close. Okay, let's just get there as quick as possible. Oh, don't jump out of your pants. We'll be there soon. Well, Mike, remember, we gotta be at the high school at 8 in the morning, and I'm not gonna look like I just woke from the dead. Oh, my sweet Annabelle, you could never look like you woke from the dead. Hey Mike, what are you doing? I just want to give old Valgar a call before we come over. Like I told you, this guy could be a little... A little what? Well, just a little... Just say it! Crazy! This guy can be really nuts! Wait, what happened to him? What's going on? It was the military. They broke him and glued him back together. He hasn't been the same since. I'm not staying in a crazy man's house, Mike. I'm telling you, I am not. Don't worry. I'll keep him on a leash. Valgar. Valgar. Who is this? This is Mike. You know Michael Anderson, your old military buddy? Oh, yes. I seem to remember. Why do you call me? Ann and I were looking for a place to stay tonight. We got big plans tomorrow, and we were wondering if... If you could stay in my humble home. I'm correct, I'm assume. Right? Well, if it's not too much trouble... Trouble? I won't bring you trouble. But... <laughs> Thank you.
Michael, I had to run to the store. I'm sure you know of the situation. We need to stock up. Don't worry about the thing on the phone. I got the bastard. Just let yourself in and get some sleep. And stay safe. Valgard Vernstein? Situation? Stock up? He got the bastard? What the heck is he talking? Don't worry about him. I told you he was off his rocket. Let's go in and get some sleep. Amen to that. Ready? We have to be at the high school by 8. Yeah, I'll be down in just a minute. I'm a little concerned about Valgar, though. Don't worry about him. Let's get out of here. I know, but... But he's your friend. I know. I've had this plan for three months now, and I'm not going to be late because of some whack job Navy guy. Alright, but we're going to have to find him later tonight. Fine by me. Let's go. Stay safe. Oh man, I have to cover this. What's going on? Well, I mean, he just oh. bit me. We gotta get out of here. I'll tell you about it later. Listen to me. What are we gonna do? We have to get away from these creeps. No, Tommy! What is your problem? Oh, sorry. Just a little war flashback. Anyway, we need to get out of the city. I know a little town called Allenton. The disease probably hasn't hit it yet. My aunt lives in Allenton. You need to show us the way. Oh. It's starting to wear on you. You get one of those soon. Just shut up and listen to me. Get on this road. We're going to my aunt's.
daily races going nowhere. Wow, this also told her my Aunt Jemima. Shut your trap, you washed up idiot. Hey! Why are you looking at me? Such a freaking idiot! Shot. You're so Just old. Why are you in a war? Are you hurt? Are you hey, scared? Are you gonna cry about back it? Off, oh yeah. Hey. Are you thinking? Aunt Jane! Aunt Jane, are you there? Good. It's already hit Allenton. What's next, West Bend? This can't be happening. This just can't be happening. This won't happen. Not to us. What do you mean? I mean, we need to get rid of the problem. Of you, Mike. What are you talking about? He can't turn? He won't turn. Maybe he's right, Anna. It's starting to wear me down. It's only a matter of time. You see, Anna, he still has his wits. I'm sorry, Mark, I have to do this. Nothing personal. <laughs> Stupid fools. <laughs> Anna, what have you done? It's go time. Turn you into something you aren't. Oh, Michael, please! No. No. You're gonna do something someday. You're gonna have the world in your hand. You're gonna. Oh, yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>